In this particular problem, we're asked to find the tenth term, this a10, a sub 10, basically. And so we're trying to find the tenth term here. We need to look at this one to determine whether this is an arithmetic sequence or geometric. Uh, and we can determine that by if there's a common difference between these. Between negative 1 and 2, there are three numbers. Between 2 and negative 4, there are, let's see, 6. So that doesn't work. So it's not an arithmetic one. So uh, we're going to assume by default it's geometric, and we can determine this as we go throughout. And we're going to kind of go through that one right now. So we're asked to find the tenth term. Well, here is our explicit formula for geometric sequences. Okay, a sub n, this a1, this is the first term in the sequence. Okay, r is the ratio, n is the number, and minus 1. Okay, so let's, find, let's fill in some information that we know. We already know the first term, a sub 1. The first term in this sequence is negative 1. It's the first one listed. Okay, the next thing that we need to know is the n. The n value is 10. We're looking for the 10th term in this sequence. Okay, we're provided for, but we're looking for the 10th one. Now, to find the r value, the ratio, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to focus on two numbers, and it really doesn't matter which two numbers. I took these two just because they're the first two. And I go ahead and I divide this second one divided by the first one, okay? So 2 divided by negative 1. 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. Now, to determine whether this is a geometric one, we can also do it by this third term divided by the second term. So negative 4 divided by 2 also gives me negative 2. So that tells us that it's a geometric uh, sequence, which basically just means we're multiplying by a common factor. Okay, Our common factor here, this ratio, is um, negative 2. Okay, So every time it goes by negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 would give me 2. Times negative 2 would give me negative 4. Times negative 2 would give me a. That's where it kind of comes from. Okay, well, now that we know that information, now we can kind of fill in what we know over here in our formula. Okay, so we're going to be looking for a sub 10, the 10th term in the sequence. a sub 1, we know a sub 1 is over here. This is our negative 1. That's our first term in the sequence. Well, we also know the ratio now. The ratio is negative 2. We just calculated that one. Okay, and finally we have this n minus 1. n is going to be this 10, the 10th term. So just 10 minus 1 will suffice. All right, now we kind of just simplify it a little bit. We have to deal with these exponents first. Uh, now it's negative 2 to the 9th. Uh, negative 2 to the 9th is negative 512. So now I have negative 1 times negative 512. Uh, we multiply those two together, that gives me 512. So the 10th term in this sequence is 512. Okay, and the, the hardest part on this one is really just trying to calculate what the ratio is. And again, you can take any term and divide it by its previous term, and that will give you what the ratio is, as long as it's a geometric. In other words, as long as it's being multiplied by this common factor. Um, but anyway, and then we can just plug it into the formula and simplify it.